I think the opportunity to try and win the America's Cup after 165 years is an extraordinary challenge for the whole team, all of us, to be part of what we think is making a piece of history. A winning culture and a high performance team is a great place to be. If you set yourself out to try and be the best in the world, then you know, things will sometimes get in the way. You've got to make sure you keep that focus. Everyone knows that they're contributing to the goal of being the best in the world. Teamwork's important in any organisation. Everyone has to be aligned, everyone has to work together. You've got to be generous towards people at the same time as being prepared to be constructively critical. I always say to young people who come in and say, I don't think we're doing a good enough job here. There's three stages, you know, diagnose the problem, prescribe the solution, make it happen. And, and people make things happen. And I think any strong team has got lots of people who own problems, who own opportunity, are encouraged to take the risk to go out there and fix it, find the solution, take the whole enterprise forward. I think the key ingredients in a winning team, you've got to have good people and they've got to work together. Good people are not afraid to recruit other good people and build the team below them. You've got to empower them, encourage them to make decisions. Supporting in success is easy, we all do that. More importantly, that when things don't go well, that you rally around, you build a culture that tolerates that, grows and learns and develops. Ultimately, as you walk around a business, you sit in a meeting, you listen to people who are so smart, so focused, so inspired, and if you recruit really good people, you empower them, and then suddenly they're challenging the organisation, they're challenging you. That's the fun part, and, it's, and that's really satisfying.